Hi, Raymondas Podrauskas, creator of the Local Trade Copper. In this video, I will kind of explain to you that the Local Trade Copper can copy trades from the MetaTrader accounts when you have only the investor password access. In other words, you know, the read-only access. Um, you know, as you might know, MetaTrader has two passwords. And I can show you, you know, if we go to Tools and Options, and if we go to the server tab and click change right here, we can see that the current, you know, I can change current password and I can change investor password or, or create new investor password. So basically, if you uh, have a friend or, you know, or maybe some, um, or maybe you know someone who can trade Forex well and you want to copy their trades, but they don't have, you know, any solution for you, they don't have any software or, you know, it's too expensive for them to open their, um, you know, their PAM accounts at the brokers or whatever. So if you just want, you know, a simple solution just to copy trades of someone who gives you access to their account, obviously, they would never share their, you know, the, the main password with, with you, you know. So main password, or, you know, as we can see, it's called master password right here. So the master password is always stays with the owner of the MetaTrader account. Just, just like you, you know, you would never give your MetaTrader master password to anyone else, you know, because they could be uh, logging in your account and, and just mess up with your trades and whatever. So, uh, you know, just like that, someone else will not give you a master password, but they can give you investor password, you know, which is also known as read-only access password. So if you have an investor password, you can log in uh, into someone else's master, you know, kind of account uh, and make it act like a master account on your computer. Uh, let me show you. So right now I have my, let me log in. Uh, I have my, my account at another broker and I will use investor password to connect to that. We can see that I'm using FXCM demo MetaTrader account, but I will be logging into my FX open, uh, real money account. So I click login and I'm using investor password. Here we go. I'm locked in. Uh, it's Japanese yen account. <laughs> I, I created this just for fun. <laughs> okay. Let me show you all the history. So here's, I deposited, uh, I deposit almost 10,000 uh, Japanese yens into my account uh, three months ago. And currently this account made another 9,000 uh, profit so basically doubled account in three months so that's a winning strategy working on this account you know um, I call it the, the dreaming EA strategy so if someone you know would give me investor password to this profitable strategy I would obviously want to copy it yeah so who wouldn't I mean so basically if you go um, to the navigator enable auto trading and then using yeah we're using this button to enable because it gets disabled every time you change accounts i attach my server ea to the to this metatrader platform so now my investor you know kind of read only access account from the fxa open uh, FX Open starts to act as the master account. So now all the trades that will be uh, taken into account, you know, basically opened on this uh, account by my trading EA running somewhere in the internet, you know, in my VPS server, it will be copied to my client EA account. So I will just run my client EA right like this, click OK. There we go. So now, any new trades that will happen on this master account, which is only just read-only access, if we go to the journal, I can see here, here it says investor mode, trades are not allowed. And that's, that's really it, you know, I can, I can see that I don't have any way to close the trades. I don't have an option to open new trades. 
I don't have any option to change the trades. You know, there's there's no trading actions enabled on this account. So any trades that will happen on my remote computer when my trading robot is taking these trades, they will be copied to my client account right over there. Now, obviously, during this presentation, I hardly believe that there will be any trading actions coming from that trading EA. So I will just try to show you how I can copy at least this one existing position, you know. So I will just go to my EA properties, scroll down to find, uh, here, we, here it is, copy open positions. I click OK and let's see if it will copy the trade. It didn't, but we can see that we have this red clock, which indicates there are trades that are currently being delayed. If I look at the experts tab, I can see it says delayed trade because price deviation of 40 pips um, is too high. Max price deviation allowed is 10 pips. So what I need to do is to make my price deviation limit higher using this parameter or I can ignore price deviation temporarily. Normally I would do it like this. I copy all trades just like that. You can see the trade was copied and then I go back into my settings and then I disable uh, ignoring of price deviation. Basically uh, you know, get back to the old settings of the EA. So I don't want to open all positions anymore, just this one time. Here we go. So now I have my old trade. Actually, I'm 40 pips late, you know, but still, but still I get the trade if, if that's my choice. And from now on, if any changes happen to this trade or this trade gets closed by my EA on, on my remote computer, the same changes will immediately be visible on this account. The server EA will take the signal and just uh, send it to client EA and it will make changes, close the trade or whatever will happen. Maybe new trade will arrive and so on. So this is how we can easily copy trades even from an investor password account. So actually you don't need master password for the uh, MetaTrade account where you want to run the server EA and copy trades from. You can do this with from the investor password as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.